anyway, speaking of ill roots, you know, yeah, man. that's where I first heard you though. Sleeping in class, Casey Veggie. Oh yeah. You already know. Shout out to Casey Veggie. Thirty thousand featuring Nero. Right now. Nah, that's dead my shit though. Like, I was listening to it while I was in the gym. Thank you, thank you, man. Appreciate. But yeah, but how'd you end up like hooking up with Casey? Casey, uh, yeah. basically like, people kept telling us, man, because we're both we we're both born in '93. Yeah. So people kept yeah, telling yeah. us like, uh, yo, y'all gotta work with each other, like, yo. Yeah. People, Casey Veggie's born in '93. Yeah, yeah yo, he's a little yeah. bit. So. People would tell Casey <laughs> like, yo, gotta? you gotta work with Nero, man. Like he's he's like a mirror reflection of you in New York City. You yeah. know, y'all just from different coasts. Right, he's close with So uh we were like fuck. And then we had a mutual friend, uh Woody, shout to Woody. Yeah, um, Word, shout out to Woody. He did he, he did that beat, you know? Yeah. So uh yeah, you know, that's how that happened. People just like our fans just kept telling us that like, I gotta work with each other, like Word. this has to happen. So <laughs> eventually, you know, we, we went through a few records before we found thirty thousand, but as soon yeah. as we heard that we were like, Okay, that's the one right there. How many other joints y'all like y'all went through? We probably went through maybe three or four back and forth, but we knew that those weren't the ones because after yeah. a few days we'd be like, mm, Yeah, yeah. Let's but as soon as we as soon as we had thirty thousand, that was like the one right there. Word. Yeah. Shout out to Casey Brothers, man. Shout, Shout out to Casey. Casey. MTV just featured that nigga. Yeah, mm. man. The it's new West thing. It's coming up. I'm waiting for the new Harlem. Where's the new Harlem? He's, he's, he's around here somewhere, man. Yo, Nero, Smoke Dizzle, Show 2 Fly. He's around somewhere. Yo, it's still Harlem's Cash. Harlem's Cash. Shout out to Harlem's Cash. Shout out to Harlem's Cash, man. Definitely. Yo, shout Young out to Charles Hamilton, even though, you know, the situation. Shout, shout out to Charles, to man. If you, nah, yeah. bro, there's no Charles. Shout out to Charles. No, there's no Charles. really not no deal with no deal radio. Indirectly. In, yeah, in it's, like, it's, it's like a real swervy. It's bro. like Charles Hamilton, Young Nate is the founder of Deal with No Deal. Okay. He's the right. novelist, yeah. and Woody. So, you know, Shout out to Woody. I'm, I'm yeah. not running, but it's still, you know, you yeah. Nate, Charles. So. Woody is the whitest black man ever. Most definitely. Deadass, the whitest black man ever. <laughs> like, I don't know who's black of him or John Stewart. But shout, <laughs> shout, they shout both out straight niggas. Yeah, think about Lambert, a great album, man. Yeah, bro. No guys. So, like, in between that and, like, Howlin' Hayes, like, what's the difference? Like how first of all, well Howlin' Hayes is the most recent project. Yeah. Howlin' so Hayes. Right. Sorry. But did I say Hayes? I'm I'm like I'm slurring my spirit. Howlin' Hayes. I'm gonna get tongue twisted. Hades. Yeah, Howlin' yeah. Hades. Like Hades. I could do that. <laughs> Howlin' Hades. I mean right, that cool. project um that is the most recent yeah, project. Rich Hill. With. You are Rich Hill. Uh man, Rich Hill, man, that's it's <laughs> a special guy, man. Basically, uh uh, Wax was always telling me like, cause he's yeah. from Connecticut. He was like, yeah. "Yo, this dude Rich Hill, you gotta work with him." He's uh -huh. like the illest. So I like, I wasn't really feeling him at first. You know, I feel like Rich Hill is a very acquired taste. Like, that's that's somebody that you probably yeah. the first time you hear him, you probably be like, "What is this?" <laughs> you know. But you know, the more I listened to him, and the more I got used, and really, what we really sold uh, sold me was when I met him. Yeah. I met him. We kicked it. We did a record like a while long ago, like last summer. Yeah. And then uh, after that, we kind of kept in touch. We hit it like we got mad cool off of that day. And maybe in October or November we did a record called Centerfold. We did yep. Yeah, we did that's a studio crazy. that night. I was just like about to play that joint. <laughs> <Not exciting. laughs> yeah, that's man, creepy. We, we put it out the night that we made it. <laughs> and then we was like, yo, let's just do an EP, man. And it, it really, for the next few months, we kind of didn't move on it until yeah. February or March. But when we did it, it was like four sessions, knocked the whole thing out. You know, sessions till 8 a.m., sessions till 7 a.m., wilding. Mm -hmm. Like, it's crazy, man. Like, that's my brother, so. Yeah, Howl in the Hades, man, the EP. It's available now, I mean, download it that. It definitely is. Yeah, shout to Rich Hill, Limo. Oh, yes. But yeah, your next project is coming out when? It's coming out very soon, man, within the next handful of months, I would say. Because it's been a while since you dropped that. Yeah, the last official solo mixtape I dropped was in July of 2009. Yeah, that, so, was, yeah. that was a long time ago. I haven't put out anything in a while. Now, the cover for, for that was crazy, though. I Thank remember you. seeing the cover. Yeah, so I was like, shout out to crazy. Cookie Cow Care, my, yeah. my French, my homie from France did that. A lot of environment, we lived them all. Um, but why so long? Like, it's what, two years? Um, like, most artists, they like drop a shitload of projects, like, just like keep their name yeah, up. Yeah, I mean, we gotta we gotta look at it like this, though. I wrote that mixtape uh, because really, A Live Environment came out in January 09, yeah. right? The first version. Mm -hmm. I was 15 when I wrote that. Yeah. I was 15, and I turned 16 and did Relive the Moment. So I'm 16, I'm 16 years old, you know, yeah. I didn't really know who I was, I didn't know what my story was to tell, right. you know, I'm still learning about myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I took, I took uh, 2010, that was like a really transitional year for me, uh -huh. you know, I, I um, figured out my style, you know what I'm saying, because I'm not, um, I'm not going to do, I'm not just going to rap on stuff from 1993 mm -hmm. for the rest of my career, you know. I did that, I paid tribute, and I, I paid tribute to those styles, but now it's like, okay, what's, what, am, what mark am I leaving? So I had to figure that out, you know, I did a lot of experimenting, 
I made some R and B. I made some heavy metal. I made some, you know, heavy I, I, metal. I, 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 yeah, I messed around, man. Yeah, I gotta hear that. Yeah, man, I, I, <laughs> might, I might have to send you that. And the, the deal with no deal is Chris. I coach that Gmail. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, momentum is coming, but it's not coming in the next two months. Oh, momentum's man. not coming for a while, actually. Oh. I'm dropping a, I am dropping a mixtape oh, okay. in the next two months. Oh, so Momentum is not going to be in this project. Right, budget. so you know, I've been going for so long, I might as well drop two, right? You're right, yeah, might as know? well. So Momentum is coming, but something else is coming first. All right, so Momentum is coming. Title. It's coming on Momentum. I don't know. What's coming on Momentum? Titles? Huh? Singles, anything? Yeah. On oh, Momentum, I mean, that's really far down the line. You know, I was working on it last year, but a lot of what I was working on, like, ended up coming out. So, like, I scrapped a lot of stuff, and I yeah. still got to go back and work on that. So it's really in the early uh, stuff. The first joint off of it is coming. In the next, hopefully, in the next like week, uh, you know, uh, A-Rap did that. A -Rap. So, feature who? I said A-Rap music did that. So, right. Harlem, um, you know what I'm saying? No, very that's, that's real Harlem. Very Harlem. Uh, yeah. Word, like, <laughs> I'm dead trying to hear that. Though. <laughs> yeah, it, it should be. He even said he makes. He said A-Rap. That's like Harlem. Yeah, man. Bad shout out to him. Shout out to Duke the God for making that happen. Word, cool. Um, you know, but yeah. Host, no host. Ah, uh, no, no host. Just yeah, that's me. how you gotta do it. Just, just me, no man. host. But it, sh it should be dope, man. I'm really excited. Like, yeah. I'm really excited because, like, it's it's a it's an introduction. It's not even a reintroduction. It's like an introduction because yeah. I feel like Alive and Vibrant, I love that project with all my heart, but yeah. that's, like, some other people's styles. As yeah. far as music, you know, yeah. that's, that's, you know, that's, uh, yeah, you know, that's yeah. Nas, that's Pete Rock, that's, uh, you know, Camp Low, you know, mm -hmm. Buckshot, oh, you Camp know, Lose. that's them, you know, mm -hmm. this is, like, Nero. So I'm really, really excited, man. And so it's like, yeah. Yeah, man, it's, it's see, the next I, couple I, months. I see what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, uh, there's a theme. There's a theme to uh, all my projects, and I won't give it all the way away because yeah. it keeps going. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, like, you know, it, to, to, to give you a piece of it, like, Alive and Vibrant was about a time before me. Mm -hmm. You know, I was about a time when I was a baby. Mm -hmm. It was about a time that people, you know, loved and embraced and hip-hop. Yeah, thrive through, you know, and where, where I'm at right now is this is the time now. Yeah. I'm 18, I'm young, um, real ransom. Real ransom. So that's, that's you got like 8,000 nicknames, yo. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> another thing, you know, many names, one heart. That's the campaign. That's the life. <laughs> many names, one heart. I got a lot of names, but it's all the same person. Yeah. All of them are sitting right here in front of you. You know, nice. it's like mad people in here. That's why it's so hot. So yeah, you know, it's mad people in here right now. Dog. You got Ro Ransom's in here, Nero's in here, Young Coyote's in here. But uh, you know, yeah, that that so this project is coming out beautifully, and you'll all hear it soon. Uh, I, I see. I, 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 one, one thing, one thing. Uh, I see you retweeting Ill Ransom a lot. Like, yeah. you want to uh, talk with this logo about to it? Basically, uh, Ill Ransom is a combination of Ill Roots and Ransom. Yeah. And uh, Ill Roots, as you all know, is uh, Mike Wax's brand yeah. blog, you know, uh, mm -hmm. ran by him and Mike Carson. And Ransom is, that's my family, that's Dice who's sitting right next to me, and Kenny and Tyler and mm -hmm. everybody, man. Even, you know, it's, it's a really, it's, really it's anybody that supports me yeah. is, is Ransom. It's, it's something I hold very close to my heart. Um, and the name derives from the fact that we take what we want in life. You know, if I got a goal, I'm gonna go out there and do it. Take it for ransom until I get the money I need. You know, mm -hmm. so that's that's what the life is. Uh, and ransom and and, and it was come together, and it just became yeah. everything clicked. It was ransom. You know, shout out to so shout out to Wax, Carson, Dice, Kenny, Tyler, Darnell. Shout outs to you know everybody. Man. It was ransom in the building. Swag. Yeah, it's about that time. Huh? Yeah, it really is about that time. If you're not aware of deal with no <clears throat> deal okay. with no deal radio tradition, at the end of every interview, you must speak bars. Nah, <laughs> but yeah, All right, man. it's that time. I, yeah, I mean, can I, can, I, time. can I do acapella? Can I now, go? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what we do. We, we do can definitely do acapella, but I have to tell you, like, there's a standard okay. like, to be upheld. Like, I've heard some shit. All right, hey, yo, he like, spit. Yeah, I spit. But that's spit. not. That's not. That's not the point. But that's not the point. Okay. But for real, like, no so yeah. Do. So like, there's no pressure. You know what I'm saying? No pressure. All I'm saying is, you know, we just you know had, you know, we just had the greatest raps of all time right. straight here, but no pressure, dog. No, no, no pressure, pressure at all, son. All those cash came in, yeah. black, and just got up and left. Didn't cash, even, didn't, cash yeah, cash didn't even eat pizza before you left. He was like, all right, yo, I'm black, fuck it, I'll go back to home. Um, <laughs> Shout out to Cash, man. I ran yeah. into him, like, last week. <laughs> he always said yeah. running to you, man. Yeah, I ran, yeah. ran into him, like, last yeah. week, man. That's the homie, man. Frank Rams came in here, black. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Black for no reason. 
and it just left. He ain't eat no pizza neither. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> is pizza like a recurring thing here? Nah, we, we just be hungry. Oh, okay. So we yeah, just be yeah, ordering we, we order pizza after, but they don't stay yeah. around for the pizza. They yeah, just like black and leave. Yeah, like, yeah. It's like, not fair. Like, <laughs> like you, you, know, you know, eat with us? We got pepperoni, <laughs> we got mushrooms. It's all good though. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Crazy, man. So, so yeah, it's that time. This is uh, this is Nero stamp on Deal With No Deal Radio. I say, uh, Europe. I'm colder than cold. Most of you rap niggas is older than old. I flow heavy like a boulder or go. And I just tell the truth how it's supposed to be told. El Roots is my team. They invested in my dream. So I'm killing every beat. Forensics on the scene. Young Coyote is what you definitely dream. No spots, no streaks. I am effortlessly clean. I'm dead nice. You a deer in headlights. Y'all be out there cuffing like a nigga who's been red rights. <laughs> I hit hard like lead pipes. Disagree, put some cheese on it. Bread slice. Labels want me, I'ma need a lot of zeros on it. Cause the shit ain't even hot unless Nero's on it. Yeah. I'm watching anime and texting a beautiful girl. Guess you could say I got a positive view of the world. Bro, ransom. Uh, ransom. Uh, I definitely see that. I think that I'm at the stage. I believe so. Definitely did. Definitely did. Take nope. coming. Yo, no pressure. Yeah, take coming. Take coming. Illroots.com. Momentum is coming somewhere, somewhere. Moment